it's really, really hard when your ex reaches out for the first time after no contact to play it cool when all you really want to do is just break down and tell them how much you miss them. Because you've gone weeks or months without hearing from this person. So it's like when they finally reach out to you, it's like, oh, yes, your heart starts beating. You're like, oh, yes, finally I get to, uh, you know, have this person's presence again. And yet that's not how that conversation goes. The way that conversation tends to go is like, hey, what's up? And you're just like, nothing, chilling, right? And you go back and forth just a little bit. And um, maybe you get carried away. Maybe you start to reveal your emotions if you're in this spot or you have been in the spot. And that's a bad, bad thing to do because what you're doing is you're validating to that person that you could sit around for months and not move on and you're still going to think about them. That person can go off, do whatever it is that they want to do come back and you're still going to be sitting there waiting for them in love with them with open arms and they literally can do no wrong so you will accept any amount of emotional punishment without consequence and they tend to lose interest and they tend to just basically continue to not commit to you and just treat you you know somebody that they can use for companionship or sex or whatever the case is so it's really important that in these moments despite the fact that your heart is hurting so bad because you miss this person so much and you've been sitting around missing them that you have to play it cool just like you would when you first meet somebody, right? You don't tell a first date that you love them and bring them flowers on this kind of shit. You might feel like you want to. We all feel like that sometimes because we get excited by people, but you have to play it cool. So how much harder is it to play it cool with somebody that you have you know, months or even years of emotional history with? Yeah, it's really hard. But if you don't do that, you're not going to get the object of your desire, which is a relationship back with this person that pushed you away for some reason. Now, if you want some hand-holding through these supremely difficult moments, um, click on my profile, click this link down here, and then apply for one-on-one -on -one coaching where we can have a conversation about what it's going to take um, for us to have an ongoing conversation about when your ex texts you, what to say next, what to do, how to feel, etc., and also breaking down the timeline of events. When can you expect this person's going to come back and how?